new content, same crippling addiction. But today, we have much more freedom. We can actually pick and choose symbols to destroy occasionally now, so I can take things like shiny pebble early on. Then when I'm sick of having them, I can choose to destroy it and replace it with a better symbol. So in theory, that means we should have more room to make more money than ever before. And we're going to take a beer for now. And then a lockbox. But the ability to destroy symbols makes a big difference in the early game. Because normally, I wouldn't really be taking a lot of these. Simply because I don't want them taking up space on the reel. But I can get rid of them later now, so the early game is that much easier. Then we're going to take the wolf, because it's worth two. Again, normally that's not something I would take, but it's going to give us two coins until I don't want it anymore. Then we're going to take the pull ball for an item, that's a free coin every spin. Then we'll take a seed, because it can potentially turn into a very rare watermelon or rare strawberry, either of which would be great. So we get a flower. I am, however, not going to take any of these, because I want better symbols than those, at the very least. Here's a hustling capsule. We're going to lose six coins, but it's going to give us one coin per spin from then on out so over the course of a thousand spins it's gonna make us a thousand dollars and i think shiny pebbles are gonna be our friend they're only worth one but they give us a better chance to find those very rare things and then when we don't want the shiny pebbles anymore we delete them from existence now we're getting somewhere lucky capsule we destroy this we're gonna get a rare symbol afterwards and then we're gonna take this rare jar we put one coin in it every spin then we destroy it later for three times our investment and this rare jar really just exists to save us from our poor choices and then we're gonna take the tomb because it by itself gives us three and has a five percent chance of adding fire which gives us four and on our very first spin our gravestone spawned a flame and with our newfound ability to occasionally delete symbols we can take more things like rabbit fluff which are worth two by themselves and give us a better chance of finding very rare stuff so i feel like this is off to a pretty strong start so far there's 23 plus a sapphire that looks suspiciously like a blueberry but thanks to these new abilities i've already got three items on the board that boost my chances of getting very rare things so that's awesome i've got two spins to make eight coins i probably should take another simple soon we lost one of our fires but i feel like i want to risk it just a little bit to hopefully get something better and so far that's not really working out but we're still doing pretty good overall we've got some good quality stuff there's another 21 we needed 100, we have 136, plus a swear jar. And now we finally got our first green and black symbol. The green symbol simply lets me skip whatever choices I have for symbols and spawn new ones in in case there's something I want more. And we're going to take the rain, because it multiplies flowers and gives us two coins. And then for items, we're going to take lucky cat, because we're 1.3 times more likely to find rare and very rare stuff for each cat, and we do have one. And then the black symbol we just received is what we use to destroy an item of our choosing. I don't want to destroy anything yet, because our reels aren't even full yet so we need all of that value but with all of our stacks of luck now we should find a lot of uncommon and rare stuff wealthy capsule it is that simply destroys itself for ten dollars and our gravestone spawned another fire so there's 39 uncommon stuff is marginally better than common but often i won't take those things unless it's able to boost something that i have on screen but we're gonna see how that goes because we can't really control what we get and we're gonna take a lockbox. we've got two of those on screen now eventually we'll find a key to open that and then we'll be getting somewhere we need to make one coin in two spins i suspect we're probably gonna make it though i do wish i was a little bit further ahead than i am there's 29 and we're gonna take a coconut half for now just for a little bit of value we'll delete that later when it starts to work against us but for now there's an extra 24 we needed 150 we have 200 and every time we complete a round we should get an extra green and black symbol now and i'm hoping that this extra luck leads to some rarer items well this isn't exactly rare but it is kind of useful to me rabbits and rabbits fur give an extra coin and we have a few rabbit furs some are on our reels so they're gonna make more and we're gonna start collecting reroll capsules and the removal capsules whenever we can because eventually we're gonna want to be able to skip symbols and remove them from our reels actually the skipping ones are always gonna to come in handy because very often i don't like what i see so i skip and get a whole new roll i also don't really love any of these but i'm gonna take a clubs for now just because we might find some friends for that and that could actually be pretty valuable for us the forces seem to be pushing us slightly towards flowers again i'm gonna throw a bee out there but i don't know if we're gonna do flowers or not it's just gonna debase basically depend on what we find along the way there's another 28 tempted to take this hearts to mix with some of my other symbols right now but i'm gonna take a reroll capsule just because the chance of rerolling into something good is much better i'm pretty sure uh the gravestone also gave us a new fire so i've got one spin to make one dollar we're not nearly as far ahead as we should be but i'm gonna take the diver 
he's gonna eat sea creatures and make himself more valuable. So we're gonna feed him a lot of sea creatures as we find them. We need a 225, we have 250, but we're gonna have to start doing better than we are. There's a few more symbols, and I will absolutely take a Lup capsule because that's gonna give us some potentially rare stuff. I don't really like any of these, so we're gonna take the Smiling Lunchbox because the Smiling Lunchbox can potentially give us some good stuff. Not that any of that stuff's good or that stuff or that stuff. And we're averaging like 30, 35 per spin. I would throw a safe out there, but we're not finding any keys. So I'm gonna throw it on an emerald just for some reliable income. And since the reels are now full, let's start to remove a few things. Like a cherry is probably not really gonna do me any good at any point now. A pearl can be eaten by the diver, so that actually has a use. The beer is only worth one, it can go away too. And this is absolutely where things can start to get interesting because we can pick and choose basically what we see every spin if we play our cards right. And also by not picking garbage like this. We're gonna re-roll that and we're gonna take a wealth cap so cause that's just a free $10. And 10 coins is actually a lot in this game. There's a spin for 42. Then we're maybe gonna take some more rain just to boost those flowers. The fire died, but that's okay. The flowers will start to build up their value. If it was earlier on, I would take the five-sided die because if it gives you five per spin, that's actually a lot and that wasn't worth the skip so nothing going there we're gonna keep on rolling interestingly there is another rain and i guess i'll probably just take it for now to hopefully start bouncing off those flowers more and more at least it's easy to do it now because we can destroy non-flower boosting things and the bees all right the game is clearly telling us something and we better hope this starts to pay out because we're gonna have to break our spare jar just to complete this there's another 35 and we're short by 28. We're gonna bust that open, and now we're ahead by 17. Probably wouldn't say no to a sunshine at this point. We have a Robin Hood who's a rare, but he's not actually useful as a rare. We can take a golden egg that'll give us three for now, and I think we're probably just gonna do that for some consistent income. It's tempting to take fertilizer because seeds will turn into rare or better stuff, so they would only turn into apples or better. But we're gonna take a lockpick just to get these damn lockboxes open. Then they can get off my reels and give me their value finally. And then we can also replace them with something that's worth more than one per spin. This flower up here was worth four. So that gave us a total of 41. Then we're gonna take a removal capsule just because I like to be able to remove things. This flower in particular is gonna be worth eight. And then let's take an item capsule. That'll just give us a free item of varying usefulness. That one gave us this, which makes wolves worth one more. We're going to have to start getting much luckier than we are if we want to get through this. But there's the other lockbox open, so there's 56. You know, as much as I stacked my luck things, we're still finding not many rares. I always tell myself not to stack luck boosting things, but I can't help it. I feel like I want to find rare things. The game just doesn't give them to me. Uh, for now, I think I'm probably just going to take Chemical 7, because if we live long enough to make that useful, that will probably save our lives at some point. There's 48 from a single spin. Here's something that could help. The General. He, uh, gives 15 coins for each other player he eats. But we only have a, one other symbol right now, and that's a Diver who I kind of forgot to be feeding. So we're not going to take him, because I think he's going to end up being more of a hindrance than a help. But as long as we make $20 here, we'll be okay. And I think we probably will. There's 45. Which means we're 26 ahead. Should I take another diver? I forgot to use the first one though. That's kind of the problem. Uh, we're gonna skip and hopefully... We'll take an apple for now. That gives three. But I need more boosters. The rest of gear is actually pretty good. If three or more symbols are adjacent and not blank, they give two times more. Well, we're gonna have flowers gripping up at some point. And the more times I can multiply them, the happier we're all gonna be. And then we're gonna take an item capsule. Because the more items we get, the better off we're gonna be. And I assume that as we get more items, it's gonna have to start giving us a common and rare because I don't think it can give you stacking. We're gonna take another chemical seven and also maybe look at destroying some of our weaker symbols that we have on the board. Then again, maybe not. We don't have as many as I thought, so we don't really need to destroy any yet. There's another 47. Yeah, despite all, all of our luck boosting stuff, we're still finding way too many commons. So I'm maybe not going to push for the luck stuff ever again. I could add the hooligan because he's going to uh, break the tombstone. And when he does, that's going to add five fires. That's basically taking a short term value for the tomb, which does give us three coins per spin and has a chance of adding fire. But if he adds a bunch of fires, that could actually be fun. And then that's going to get the tomb out of the way at some point too. Oh, he's going to break it right away. Okay, cool. Now we have a lot of fires on the board that are going to make us a lot of money. Well, Ned's going to buy some time to find some better symbols. Removal capsule it is. Look at all the fires. That's going to give us a value of 44. And that's been gave us 61 largely due to those fires. So hopefully we start to find some rarer and rarer stuff. One of the fires burned out, but that's okay because we got our value. I thought we had one more spin. So 
I'm going to spin until we get a good run going. This next run is shaping up to be interesting because I'm finding quite a few rare symbols like the martini. Those are worth a lot but also I have a rare dame and she can destroy martinis and give me 35 coins for those. And I currently have one big ore, one little ore and one golem on the board and that's going to turn into a lot of gems eventually. Plus a rare omelet and the moon which means adjacent owls, rabbits and wolves give two times more value. Plus this very powerful symbol currently called the capsule machine. The effects of all of those capsules happen twice so I get double effect out of those. That means I get to find extra symbols, I get to remove extra symbols. So this one's shaping up to be pretty good. We need 301 spin, we have 296 and that void creature is going to help me make a little bit more. Oh and our diamond's ready so this lady's going to double the value of that so that's 10 for 50. So we're ahead by 45 and as long as we get a little bit of luck we should continue to get ahead. Something that's definitely going to help that is Highlander. That might actually be the rarest item in the game. And it's funny because I found it without all the luck boosts on but six coins per spin. If I find any way to multiply that we're going to be making some money. Next we're going to take the piggy bank. Basically we put two coins in every spin. Uh, we break it later to get double our investment out of it. Really need something to start breaking up these geode things. There's a 45 spin. Not going to take any more ore yet. Not until we have a way to start destroying it the proper way. I will for now take a wealth capsule, but I'm actually going to destroy the littlest ore I have. To see if that actually works in adding an item if I do it this way. I um, don't think it did because I don't think I see any new gems on the board. We're going to have to wait for... Oh wait, maybe it did just split up into those. Or maybe that was the golem breaking. I'm not really sure what to make of that at this point. I never use the ores, but there's a spin of 58. But I'm kind of running through a bad luck of symbols suddenly. I need a key to open these safes because these safes are going to start working against me. Also, it's tempting to throw a mouse on the board because I know something out there is going to start to give me cheese and the mice eat the cheese for a lot of value and the cheese is just going to get in the way. Uh, I'm going to take the buffing capsule for now. Destroys adjacent symbols gives two times more. Well, now it's going to give two times twice. Hopefully it lands near Highlander because that would make it worth 24 for a single spin. And it did. And the diamond. Oh, the diamond's going to be super multiplied for 40. And she made 148 off that. So that worked out well. We're already 150 over where we need to be. So we can take a little bit of time to find the right symbols, but not too much. We'll lead our lead, lose our lead pretty quick if we do. You think we can get another diamond? This is super risky to uh, have 20 spots of dead space, but you know what? Diamonds are great. You can never have too many diamonds. So we needed 350, we have 582. And we're going to start to find rarer and rarer symbols now, plus we get more of these guys. I would take the beehive, but it's going to consistently give me bees, which aren't really good right now. Honey's okay, but I don't want. We're going to skip this, and then we're going to take maybe a chef for now, because he can multiply some other stuff on the board, and we do have an omelette out there currently, and I think still a martini. And then we're going to take this smiley lunchbox again, just in the hopes that it will give us something good, like honey will take for now. Won't take any of that, and we won't take any of that. And then I'm also going to destroy some things that are just in our way for now. We're going to destroy basically all of these ores, because I keep forgetting to get a miner to replace them. So we're going to spin now, and we still have full reels, so we can still destroy even more items. But we're going to take some more honey for now, and then we are going to destroy something. Probably this basic pearl, because it's only worth one, and doesn't really do anything for me. Now we have an open spot in the reel, so let's hope to find something good. Let's take a revol capsule, because I'm pretty sure that's going to revol twice for us now, and that's definitely worth it. This guy just doubled the cherry and the omelette, so he made his money's worth there. Now with our double reroll, we're not going to take any of that, and then we're not going to take any of that. But we can get another... Hmm. Let's take the item capsule because it should give me two items after this. Once it pops, it gave me the banana for sure and I think the rabbit. And then maybe we'll take another item capsule for now. Just because we get free items out of the deal, so this gives three coins if there is blank spots. And the other one rerolls dice. Neither are helpful, but those are just items we can't get in the future, so we'll hopefully get rarer ones instead. Not taking any of that. We need to start making some value again, though. Multipliers are stacking up. We still need a key for all these damn safes. Not taking any of that low-value stuff. I'll take a beer for now, simply because the dwarf at some point will drink that, and he'll get... Yeah, he already drank it. That's going to be pretty big value for us. That gave him alone 21. For a roll of 70. So we needed 425. We have 589. We're up by 150. But our gap is closing a little bit, so we're going to have to do a little bit better. So I think we're going to take a rare strawberry, because I'm pretty sure some of our people can boost that. Uh, we're going to take the anthropology degree for sure because any people on the board are going to have an extra coin value. And I'm pretty sure that's going to add up quite a bit, especially in cases like her. And finally, here's a single key to throw on the board that's finally going to remove some of these safes and stuff if they ever line up. 
I'm getting to the point where I'm almost ready to just destroy this safe and get it off my board. But because of my double capsule item, these wealth capsules are now going to give me an easy 20 coins. That's just a simple guarantee and we open the safe, so this should be a good spin. This one is worth 107. We've got 10 spins left on this diamond. The diamonds will start to stack eventually. I'm just not sure if we have the time to have another dead spot on the board. But I think we're probably going to skip this one. And that wasn't worth it. We didn't find anything. Off we go. This guy's going to make the honey all worth quite a lot. If we could get a double multiplier on the honey and stuff, that would add up. But we got 60 for that spin, so I'm not going to complain. And we got 54 on that spin, so we're starting to get some pretty high spins. Uh, unintentionally, I just added Mrs. Fruit, but that's okay. She'll eat any low-end fruit we have on the board and increase her value while doing it. So that actually kind of works out for me. See, she got rid of a cherry. And now she's forever worth extra. We've got three spins to make $57. So I think we're probably going to do it fairly easily. In fact, that single spin was absolutely worth it. We're going to take a seed, because if it turns into low-end fruit, Mrs. Fruit's going to eat it. If it turns into high-end fruit, that's just extra money for us. She ate the banana, which turned into a banana peel. The diamond doubled value. Things are looking just fine. Here's the miner we needed eight years ago. I'm not even going to throw him on the board at this point. I'm just going to destroy that big ore that I didn't realize was still hanging up there. And then we're just going to keep on spinning until we get something immensely good. But still, 60 per spin isn't bad. We needed 575. We have 700. So here's the archaeologist we could have used. He would have destroyed all of those and then that also gives him more value too but i do still have at least four things he can eat currently so i'm gonna throw him on the board because that's gonna make him very valuable and eat up some of my bad symbols none of the items here are really great so i'm gonna take the small symbol bomb just because it leads to more stuff that is potentially useful nothing there so we're gonna skip that and nothing there. But things are definitely sitting in a pretty good spot right now. We're making quite a bit of value every turn. And we're going to start to eat up some of these lesser symbols and replace them with much better ones. I just love void creatures. Mostly because they get to die. They're sacrificed for my profit. Archaeologist ate one thing so he's already worth quite a bit. I don't want anything here. I was going to add a mouse in case I get overloaded with cheese. But I don't think that's going to happen because nothing's going to destroy my moon. We can start to stack boosts on the owl by adding a witch. But she also boosts a lot of stuff and doesn't really make a lot of money herself so we're not gonna bother uh at this point we're going to throw some wine on the board because i think we've got a dwarf out there somewhere who can drink that and once he does that's a bit of value added for sure i think we just got another diamond out of the coal and the archaeologist just ate something else so he's worth seven uh we're gonna add some rabbit fluff right now just because it is worth two and boost my luck just a little bit i think we got a blank spot to fill on the board anyway so might as well fill it with something for now and then for fruit uh we can keep feeding fruit to what's her name she's gonna keep increasing her value but we do need to keep making money because we're starting to fall behind just a little bit. Though this should be a pretty good spin in itself, I think. This is going to be worth 78. And I guess a shiny pebble too can be eaten by the archaeologist. It's going to be useful until it's eaten and then it's forever useful anyway, so that all works out. This spin is worth 74. We needed 625, we have 702. Look at all these rare symbols. I was stacking moons because I thought we could stack wolves eventually, but this is only the second moon I've found. It does have a multiple of three though, so I might as well just throw it out there. I guess now we'll probably get the birdhouse because that gives owls extra value and the owls do have a double multiplier out there currently, so I don't know. Maybe that's going to work out, maybe that's not. The archaeologist is worth a little bit more now. So is the dwarf. Then we'll take the lucky capsule because its effect is doubled. We're going to get two rare symbols after this. I really like the way this is working out. And now that we got two diamonds, she's getting double value for those diamonds. So those are worth 12. Nothing here is super great, but the owl does have an extra booster. And the owls could actually start to be very valuable for us if they get the right boosts on them. But we're definitely going to take a reroll capsule for now because that's going to give us two free rerolls, which will hopefully get us some rare items. That will up top to get a boost, so he got six out of that. And we did get a wolf, so I'm going to get one of those for now. Because those will get lots of boosts from different things, and we can start to delete other symbols if they're getting in the way of the wolves. Here's another wolf. I'm going to throw him down. Also, I'm going to delete the safe, which is just kind of getting in the way at this point. Also, the banana peel. That way, more of this stuff is going to spawn that can multiply, like the wolf on the moon. So that made him by himself worth six. And then I've got three re-rolls, so that'll hopefully lead to something good. Item capsule, that way we can get some more items. There it is, it's going to destroy that wolf, should have got a nice multiplier too. He was worth 18 now. And because of that item capsule, our owl is going to take one less spin to give his extra coin. Also, skip one and skip two. Don't want any of those either, so off we go. We're just going to keep on spinning and hoping for that value. 
we need to get another piece of coal started for an extra diamond. But I am going to throw down an ore for now because I think we have a 50% chance of breaking that. It's going to turn into something that's either going to be useful for me or eaten by the archaeologist for extra value. So the archaeologist is now worth 10. Not taking anything I got open with a key. Don't want any more owls. We're doing pretty good as it is. Let's not mess with a good thing. We got a pretty good strategy going. That wolf's going to be worth a few dollars. He's worth 18, I think. So there's 105 for that spin. We needed 675. We have 875. We're 200 ahead. Now the game wants to give us rare symbols. Let's do more moons to give those wolves more boost. We're getting three times multiplier per moon. Plus we're going to add the rest of gear. Three or more of the same symbol are adjacent and not blank. They give two times more. So if I get diamonds or wolves or moons lined up, they're going to make extra extra money like they would have there. Not that they're not doing a good booze. That wolf was worth 54. So I think it's safe to say we're probably going to succeed here. Let's even throw another wolf out there. The more adjacent things we have, the more we're going to make. That was just a random spin worth 112 and we have the very rare golden arrow. I don't always love this, but I can delete it if it starts to annoy me. But that can add a potential four times multiplier to anything at all and that's huge there's another triple wolf moon thing so that's another 54 out of him 137 total definitely not take your bronze arrow at this point i would only take the gold ones because even then half the time they point off the board or don't show up at all and then i'm gonna take a re-roll capsule but also i'm gonna destroy the one flower i have on the board because that's just a waste of space and then we're gonna use that to re-roll into mm, we want to risk another diamond. I guess at this point we might as well. We already have the amount we need. We got a few free spins left. What I need are more destroying symbols because I've got a lot of stuff I don't want anymore. We'll maybe throw a pearl down for our archaeologist. He deserves it. Hopefully it lands next to him at some point. Ooh, we got a four times multiplier in Excalibur. So that's going to be worth 24 along with the omelet. And we have over $1,000. Let's just hope we can keep this train rolling because we got some high value symbols out there. But there's definitely also a few we could get rid of pretty easily. We're going to throw this buffing capsule down. And if it lands next to some good things in a lucky way, we could get some pretty big multipliers out of it. Anything? We got a 40 out of the archaeologist. And that's pretty good. Needed 777. Had 1263. About 500 ahead. This time our landlord was made into soup. So we're going to keep on playing and see how far ahead we can get. It's like the game knows what I want. Here's another moon. And here's a cool one we've never seen before. A very rare telescope. Every four spins, all symbols are considered adjacent. So when a spin like this, uh, each of these wolves are going to get 3 times 3 times 3 times 3. So that's a really, really big boost. That's every four spins the archaeologist got a nice boost uh so especially if the gold arrow points towards those wolves at that point we're gonna make a lot even that was a spin for 170 and then i also just added a buffing capsule so we're gonna see how things start to shake up that strawberry is now worth quite a fortune all by itself 24 uh this might have been the one where all symbols are considered adjacent so the wolves at least are going to make a lot of money. The wolves are worth 216 each. That owl was worth how much? Did I see that right? I guess if they're all adjacent, the owl gets boosted by more things. He was worth like 300 or something. I need more boosters. Not a bronze arrow, none of that. We're going to keep rolling. $2,000 currently. I think this is a spin where everything is considered adjacent again. So the wolves might be worth a lot along with the owl. The owl is worth 243 That uh, wolf was worth 1200 and something. So I've got 1000 doing two spins, but I've got 4500 So I think this one's going to be pretty successful overall. And we have a four times multiplier on the uh, archaeologist. So he's worth 44 by himself. And now we're really starting to stack up the very rare. There's a wild card, which is going to uh, equal the value of the next, mm, the most valuable adjacent item. It's kind of a shame that I don't actually want any of these. The farmer is tempting because he can double the value of all that, but we're not really boosting any of that. And mm, here again, I don't really want any of that stuff, despite the fact it's all rare. Oh, here we go. Wolves give one more and are common instead of uncommon. So now the wolves are worth much more. The wolves on that one alone were 650 just due to the golden multiplier rod. I think this is another super multiplier round. And we're on the wolf again with the golden rod. Well, he was worth 972. So that's obviously pretty good by itself. Here's a new booster we can add to the mix. The Beastmaster because he's going to make owls and wolves two times more valuable. I think this is going to be the super adjacent spin if I'm not mistaken. I really need to learn how to uh, keep better track of these things. But with all those moons and wolves on there, that could be worth a lot. We're going to see how much he's worth. 486. Without total spin was 1500. This one could have been big if the thing was pointed towards the wolves in the right way. But they're still worth 1000 each. Plus we're up to about $12,000. At this point I'm far enough ahead where I can kind of exploit these new things. Because every round I'm going to succeed. But I can also remove one symbol at that point. So I'm just going to keep removing the symbols that aren't relevant. 
until I'm making stupid amounts of money. And here's an item we've been looking for for a while, clear sky. Sun and moon affect non-adjacent symbols as well, thus we just added another moon. So now the spins are going to take forever because everything has to play off of everything, but things are going to be that much more valuable. So I'm pretty sure the average spin for now, keeping an eye on this wolf in particular, is going to be worth this much. That wolf is worth 6,000 by himself. This should be the biggest spin in a while. The wolf, the one wolf I have currently, is worth 12,000. I whittled my way down to this and I removed most of the wolves just so it would go faster. It takes a long time to watch a multiplier go over a million wolves. I'm also getting to the point where moons just need to be not existent anymore. I found a million everything else. I can't simply find any more moons. I've even been saving up my rerolls for the rare boosts I get at the end, and no matter how many times I reroll, I will not get another moon. But at least I'm still well ahead. We need 10,500, we have 780,000. But also no moons. And since the game has stopped giving me any moons or multipliers, then I think I'm gonna have to give up. I just don't physically have time to wait four hours to get each individual moon. But we made pretty good money considering. But also, here's a multiplying capsule on the wolf which put his value up to 12,000. We could still do a lot better. 